Good morning, church leadership. Today I'm going to talk about how you can um, update information on the website. This will just be the simplest um, guide on how to just update simple information like text and all that stuff. You can even update like images and stuff like that if you want as well. Uh, but this is just a basic, like, one-on-one, -on -one, 101, how to update the uh, features. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to the website, obviously, thnas.org. Click on the Interact button. It'll bring you to the login. Click on Login. Then click on and log in as admin, or if your account has um, editing rights or whatnot, you can log into your account. So we'll log in here. All right, so once you're logged in, you, you should be able to tell because it will say you're currently logged in. And then also you'll have this neat um, editing bar up here. So you'll now have access to that. All right, so let's say, so let's say you wanted to change, you know, for example, the about page. Click on the about page and you scroll down and Maybe some of the information's outdated or whatnot. All you have to do is click on Edit with Elementor. So click on that. It will load the website editor. And here we go. You now have access to edit elements on the page. So let's say you wanted to edit this title. You just have to click here. And then here you go. Here's that text or that title. So if you wanted to change it, all you'd have to do is just change it right here, over here. So test. And instantly it's changed. Now, it's not changed live until you hit this update button down here. So whatever changes you make and you like those changes, be sure you hit this update button or else those changes will not take effect. So I'm just going to put that back. Who are we? Or what was it? I don't remember what it was. So I'm just going to, if you don't remember what it was and you don't want to keep those changes, you can just hit exit, leave, and it will not save the changes. Because I don't remember what it was and I don't want to change that. Okay, so if you end up at this side, of this is the back end of the website. And you can just click back in by clicking edit with Elementor. And then it will load back onto this page. Who are we? Who we are. Okay, there we go. That's what it's supposed to say. Okay. And then same thing with any other element. Whatever you want to change, you just click on, change it over here. Click on, change it over here. Paragraph. You can change font, whatever it is you want to change. Click here, change over here, membership, or change this little paragraph. You, if there's typo, whatever you need to, you can change it. Click here, you can change this to whatever it is you want. You just click on it, and over here you can change it. Maybe there's something wrong with this. Change it. Click here, change it here. Same thing with these titles. Click, click on it, 
change it over here. Once you've changed everything, you like everything, it looks fine. All you have to do, obviously this, this page might need updated. Who knows? You know, I don't know what it is that you guys want updated, but this is how you guys update on the page. Just click. Maybe you want to change your picture out. If you want to change the picture out, you just click on the picture, click here, choose image, select image, and you can find a new image on your computer. So you'll want to download a new image for Sherry if you're going to change Sherry. Same thing with Annette and Bree, of course, too. So that's how you change pictures. You just click on the picture and then you click over here on the side to change it. And then there's also all kinds of other things you can do with it. So, you know, you can play around with it if you want to, with all the other settings. Um, See, like this one, I added all kinds of elements to it. You know how it like does the little side move thing? That is in advanced under, uh, where is it? Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's under content or style, maybe. Oh, yeah, it's under style. And then under this hover, you have this rotate bro. And that's how it, when you hover over it, it rotates and grows. That element is this right here. But you can change that to, you know, maybe do floating instead. Or bob. I don't know what that, oh yeah, so it just kind of like goes back up and down. <laughs> so you can change those elements to wobble buzz out <laughs> you can do all kinds of funny things uh, but i like that rotate grow so i'm gonna put it back on that um so yeah i mean that's basically it that's what you do to change things on the website and if you're done with this page you can click here and obviously if you want those changes to save you click update so let's Let's go ahead. I don't think I changed anything this time. What I did change, I changed back. So I'm just going to show you what it does. So when you click update, you just click the update. And then now those changes that you made are now live. As long as the update button is now grayed again, you're good. So now you can click. So if you want to go back to the elements, you can click here. Click on whatever you need to change. You can change some more and then click update. But if you're ready to go back and actually view the page without the element or, or go to another page, you're going to have to click. Uh, let's go back. You're going to have to click these three lines up here and then you click this page view page. So you click view page and it goes back to the website without being in the editing mode. So now let's say, okay, I'm done with this page. Let's go to the next page. So just click on whatever page you want to edit next. So maybe you want to edit the home page. There's info on the home page you want to change. Click on the home page and then click edit with Elementor. You don't want to just click edit page because that's going to take you somewhere else and you're not actually going to be able to edit the page. And I can show you that here in a minute. But basically, now you can edit this page too. Yeah, because, oh, looks like the calendar is not there anymore. What happened to our calendar? That's weird. I'll have to ask Annette about that, see what's going on there. If I can get that fixed. But anyways, yeah, now you can just click on whatever elements and fix whatever you need for over here. Don't like this image, change image, change image, whatever, you know. Buttons. 
don't necessarily want to mess with these um but you can change their their uh text or whatever i guess if you want from these but don't touch the links because if you change this part then it's not gonna actually work as a link but if you wanted to add one of these uh somewhere if you wanted to add a link all you have to do this is so fun with this kind of editor is you can just copy this whole button and paste it here so now we have a second button and you can change uh, the link to something else or whatever so that's kind of cool but that's a little bit more advanced than just changing things or just editing text and stuff that's a little bit more advanced so I don't know how advanced you want this tutorial to be or not but you know there you go and if you were like oh whoops I didn't mean to do that you just click on this right click on that and click delete and there it is it's gone so there you go that's how you edit text and elements on the website so if you want a little bit more advanced tutorial I can do that as well later but for now that's basically how you do uh, that's basically how you edit the website there you go so have fun editing all right see ya